genius. Howdy, Can we do that again? I wasn't ready. <laughs> oh, you want to hear it? Stew's thunder. <laughs> it was magical. Can they hear us? Can they hear us? I don't know. Can they hear us? We'll know in 30 seconds. Hello. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse I'll be me. muted. I, was, I didn't <laughs> want you to feel left out. Come on, no, Fresh is not going to say nothing. Fresh made me sick. <laughs> what up, Foggers? What's up? What's going on? Stuff. Here we are. It's Project Moonshine. It's Project Five. You got a jar of moonshine there, Lifa? Yeah. I think I forgot my water. Uh, that might be a problem. Just start knocking on the floor. The wife will come to your rescue. She's gone. Go get some water, get her still. I will in a minute. They said you're loud and proud. Loud and proud. Good All deal. Right. So uh, do some shouting out. And who's here? King Jig is here. What's up, King? Edward Cap is here. Timekeeper sixty eight is here. Socrates, Socrates is here. The cabbie. Um, Adam Polarshik. He was an hour early. I don't know if he's here now. Maybe he is. All right. Bu Buick's out there. Raven Shadow. Dang. Jerry Jerry Lawrence. Nate thirty eight is here. Nate. And uh, Addie Tooney, Addie Tooney in the comments. Fresh, o, Fresh O3 is here. Yeah, yeah hi. Hi. <laughs> life is here. Hi, Life. Hi. 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 Poor Fresh, you don't feel good. I don't feel, I don't feel the, I don't feel the coughing coming on right now, so. I'm unmuted. So fresh, you've been sick for a couple days. Uh, I've been sick since Friday. Wow. Was it? Did you get um, con crud? No, no, this no. ain't the con crud. Okay. <laughs> That's a or... delayed con crud. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a little late for con crud. Gonorrhea? No, not gonorrhea either. Gives you sick. Diarrhea? One of the rias? It could have been Gizzard Stew. There could have been some Rhea's. Maybe going it was on. Rhea Perlman. It was Rhea Perlman. Rhea Perlman did me in. Rhea. That's what I get for watching a rerun of Cheers. Oh. Well, I'm sorry that you're under the weather, but I'm glad that you're here. No. Yeah. That's, yeah, hey. that's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> what do you got? Your sticker on your head? It's a magnet. It's a magnet. That one's a magnet. Yeah. What was that you, card game you played? Forget the name of that thing. 
I don't know. I always won with that. So I could just like stick anything there. Is it liar's poker? Except for online. Live fucking YouTube, it won't work. Liar's poker. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Lick the card and stick it to your forehead. Yeah. Maybe my skull's Maybe. magnetic as yours do. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I got a sticker. That was kind of nice addition. Oh yeah. That's a magnet gizzard stew. It is a magnet. Yeah, you can put it on your computer case. It is yeah. a magnet. <laughs> Mess up all the components inside of it. Wow, I, I put it on my steel drawer. That's cool. Aye. I. This is a sticker. Yeah, that one's a sticker. That one so, sticks to things. You can put that on your computer. <clears throat> So we got uh we got the new Armageddon, the new new in the mail. I think I think the whole gang got it. Yeah, so we got we're gonna talk about that a little bit tonight. And uh we're gonna tell you what we think. You know what I think I'm butterscotch blind. <laughs> <laughs> what? I guess we uh, could talk about it now. We might as well start. We can talk about it for an hour, I don't care. Um, Daddy Tooney got Billberry out of this one. So what do what do you what do you taste, Daddy? I taste um just a, a wonderful cream de mint yeah. with a little bit of cake in it. It's, I love it. It's fantastic. Yeah, it is pretty good. Fresh? Are you tasting it, or are you too ill to taste? I'm gonna taste it. I don't know how much of it I'll get out of it, but it it tastes like. Almost spot on, uh, Andy's candy, to me. Yeah, that was what I was. Uh, I guess I was thinking Andy's mints, like the the yeah. filling, yep. and then I I think it tastes so much like Andy's mints that my mind is making up that it has chocolate even. You know, yeah. so I, I don't think that there's actually chocolate in it, but it. You know, you're so used to it's so spot on to like an Andy Mint. It's kind of like uh, tasting cheese in the um, the the Phantom Ravioli, right? Yeah, right. Like, like it's not really there. The basil's there. The tomatoes there. But you know, you think it tricks your brain into thinking that there's cheese. Absolutely, it's so, so weird how that happens. So I I because. That's what I was freaking out about. I'm like, well, I know this probably doesn't have chocolate in it, but my brain's telling me that it's an Andy's mint. I was just looking at his... Raven made a comment. Life, what do you taste? Uh, okay, so I got it in... And I did the normal thing. Uh, every time you get something, you always knuckle taste it a little bit. Mm -hmm. You where it's going. And uh, I'm knuckle. Whole lot of mint. Whole lot of mint. A little bit of uh, of the butterscotch kind of kind of uh, lingers on the mouth after the mint goes away, um, which is good. And then I put it in. The Archon V2 and been vaping it uh, the rest of the day. Um, I'm getting straight up cream to mint on it, and uh, not getting not getting too much of the cake, not getting too much of butterscotch. But I gotta tell you, this would be a good one to have around. I think it. I gotta find another pod that I can put it in for like my Infinex. Because I think it would be very, very good in a in a nice uh, a nice mouth and lung or pod system, something just to, to take with you to an event and have that mm -hmm. like you're sneaking outside after the prime rib at a wedding or something, and you get that nice after dinner mint with it. Um, I think that mint's going to be really good in a smaller system. It, it's good in this giant Archon V2. V um, but maybe the maybe the smaller mouth and lung device may bring out some of the other notes. Yeah. 
Kind of reminds me of also uh, Girl Scout cookies. It's kind of got thin mint. Thin mint. Yeah, thin mint Girl Scout cookies. Like I could see vaping this at a at a Girl Scout jamboree for sure. Uh, probably good. That's probably the best place to vape. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, so I I'm obviously running it on my uh, tasting setup here. Um, it's definitely cream de mint, uh, cream de mint heavy. Um, I immediately recognize the cream de mint. So Giancarlo, good choice. Good choice on the cream de mint. Um, but the butterscotch, the butterscotch is actually, it's actually layered right behind it. So I'm, I'm actually getting quite a bit of the butterscotch. The, the part that's eluding me is the, uh, angel food cake. Angel food cake's not really, not really kicking. Um, but I never, I mean, I never really thought of uh, butterscotch and cream de mint as going all that well together, but it's certainly, certainly a rocking combination. I definitely yeah. like that. And it's, it's definitely hitting the spot for me right now with the way I'm feeling. So watch out Dean from, watch out Dean from Coil Vapes with your, with your non-existent grasshopper. <laughs> yeah, I, I love it. I've been, I've been, I've been hitting that up pretty hard. Yeah, it's, it's, it's totally uh, excellent. Uh, it's a nice, smooth, smooth yeah. e-liquid. It's, uh, there's nothing really sharp about the mint. It's, it, it comes at you. If you're not expecting a mint and somebody just grab you a vape, yeah, it'll hit you in the face. But um, it's, it's not sharp like some mints can be. Right. It just takes your yeah. breath away. It's a nice, smooth, cool yeah. uh, cream to mint. Yeah, I, I would even it. say that, like we're describing an Andy's mint. It's more toned down than that. It's because those can kind of be, you know, really leave you like uh, inhaling a menthol type of thing after you eat one of those. But maybe I'm leaning more towards the Girl Scout cookie type of flavor. I can uh, hit it first thing in the morning. It doesn't make me choke. No, it's it's not overpowered. That's an excellent. That's excellent with the mint because there's a lot of vapes that you can't just go right away. Yeah, uh, having like a little bit of of coffee or tea to get your throat ready for whatever you're gonna throw at it. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, God, they, those guys have like two winners. Like Ducky had a great one with the nightshade, and now G's got a great one with this. This might be my new favorite. I'm not feeling well, babe. It's really pretty good. That's what I'm saying. It's it's gonna be a good one to bring out, like uh, a good. Oh, I I say that about all of John Carlos Eulipus though. It, they're they're not they're not usually ones that you're just going to blast all day long on. It's ones that you pull out in special occasions where you're sitting around going, "What sounds good right now?" Oh yeah that well, um i mean the bali the bali song on uh, the honest truth is bali song's the only one that i hit all day every day when i'm on a bali song kick everything else is kind of situational like um which one's the lemon cello cookie is that leviathan yes yes yeah uh that one is great for like after a meal it's just it's rich it's got that it's got that nice it's got the nice cookie it's got that lovely lemon cello that one's fantastic yeah. this this if I'm not feeling good, I could I could totally vape this all day. And even if I was feeling okay, I could probably vape this all day. It's just like uh, I think it's the right setup. Like Fresh has got it on a single coil. Not bit, anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, he had it first on a single coil, so yeah, I've been, I'm going through my testing process. I vaped it on the single coil. Now I'm vaping it on something with a little bit of power behind it. I'm yeah, I liked it on. I liked it on um, aliens at about ninety six watts. Um, it it it's good on that as well. It's just you got to find where you doing one hundred and fifty. No, I was going to one hundred and twenty. <laughs> it went up to one hundred and fifty. Yeah, so let's, let's get this thing at one hundred and twenty. See what this does. And I do believe that just like uh, yeah, like. Uh, 
Raven Shadow Vapes is asking, how good is Tarantella? Tarantella is excellent. It's amazing. It, it's not going to be for every everyone. Like mm -hmm. I myself can vape Tarantella, um, you know, keep it in a rotation. But it's just some people are going to taste it and it's not going to be there. Yeah. There, and John Carlo always yells at me when I describe it, but sweet potato pie. <laughs> There's going to be Taro Fre it's Taro it's Fresh O3. Um, Tarantella is amazing. Tarantella is amazing. Um, creating a pal creating a palatable Taro vape, and it's got marshmallow, and it's got all sorts of just lovely, like lovely caramel, like caramel. Yeah, lovely melty goodness. Hints of, hints of other things. I won't give away your recipe, Giancarlo, but hints of other things going on. Uh, but Tarantella is amazing. Uh, if you like sweet potato pie, I would certainly recommend it. It's a it's slightly earthier because he is using a taro in it, but Tarantella is fantastic. We have a new Asian market in the area, and they say sell taro root that's like this thick. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's even awesome at 120. This is the first thing I've been able to vape at 120 watts for I don't know how many days. Is it bringing the cake out anymore at high wattage? No. No, it's de it's de it, as soon as I switched off the tasting, as soon as I ta switched off the tasting RDA, the butterscotch gets buried by the cream to mint. You know there's a bakery in there somewhere, but it's tough to discern what it is. Yeah. That's why so, I mean, I, it's it's definitely cream to mint. It's definitely cream to mint heavy. Um, and the cream to mint that he's using, you would have to go lower. But it's it's a it's a really really good choice because it's the smoothest and best tasting one on the market. <clears throat> it would be the if I was putting together a cream to mint vape, this is this is probably the direct. Well, I I don't know that I would use butterscotch, but mine would have had chocolate in it. But John Carlo John Carlo does things his own way, and that's why he's awesome. Yeah, he uses phantom chocolate. That's right, <laughs> phantom chocolate. I don't I don't get chocolate out of this at all, but. I also knew that there was none, so I wasn't looking for it. Uh, I, so I it tricks my brain. Yeah, so it might do. It, it it seems like there could be. It it goes back to uh, like New Year's Eve if we're having a party and it's the really kids good. are here, making making the freaking grasshopper drinks for the kids. Yeah. We use a cream the cream the mint, cream the cocoa, and some good vanilla bean ice cream. Whip it up in a blender. And then you make yours with half vodka. <laughs> I'll be crazy. right back. You guys, you guys talk much yourselves. I gotta grab some water. Ah. Right. You, you know you need more water when your coughing spells leave you dizzy. Oh. <laughs> uh, just ask. All right, I'm, I won't. I won't repeat that, John Carlo. <laughs> But that's yeah, right, yeah. Hashtag Trick Again. That's right. Really good. That's this is this might have jumped this might have jumped up there to one of my favorites from them. I guess yeah, that, that this is really right. good. That and that nightshade. Oh. Yeah. I'm hesitating. I'm hesitate. I'm hesitant like I need more time with it to really make up my mind. But this is this is going up in there. This is going up to one of my favorites. I can already tell you, just because it's even at 120 watts, it's smooth as silk, and it didn't, it didn't make me feel like I was gonna die. So I think that that's where it really comes in into shine is that it is a mint that is that is nice and nice smooth, um, and if if you like minty vapes, yeah, yeah, it, it it is smooth. For it as being as forward as the the cream the mint is in it, I I know that probably other people would have made it and it would have been harsh on the throat, but you got it down. I already tell you everybody, getting two huge thumbs up from me. Two huge okay. thumbs up. Carl finds the magic combo with the butterscotch. I did, yeah. I I would I never would have thought cream the mint with butterscotch. I I kind of want to I kind of want to send Giancarlo a link and be like, what were you thinking? <laughs> Explain yourself, sir. <laughs> I 
Nice. Nice. Ashley Brown fed the critters. My critter, my critter hit a, a uh, sunbeam, and she's she's just a blob in the corner over there. Like she she hasn't moved. She hasn't moved in twenty minutes. I did like the gizzards gizzards poster in the background changed. The spork poster. No, it's that spark poster. It used to be something else back there. I thought we always had the spork poster hanging up there. It's been since, there I, for since I sent it to him. A couple months, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I sent them to. The, I sent him that like two Christmases ago. Uh, what is the the e liquid that is we're talking about is Apache Line. Apache Line by Omegadon. This is what, when we put our survey up, this was one of the big choices that they came up with. Everybody, there's four butterscotches in there and other things. Mm. Holy crap. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and hedgehog sitting, Ashley Brown, geez. Uh, yes, people wanted us to discuss the new new that we've gotten in. Yeah. I got some stuff from a company I didn't even talk to. Nice. <laughs> that happens. That happens. They all have this. They all have this uh, anonymous, anonymous style look to them. With the suit and villa of it. the gods. What is? It? Yeah, it's like it's from Bapecraft Incorporated. Bapecraft. Yeah. They've been around for a while. Yeah, caramel cream with a twist. But yeah, they they sent me over like five bottles out of the blue. I didn't even know things were coming. I'm like, okay. Those are always fun when you get the when you get the just rando shit. You're like, it's fun and scary at the same time. It's like, who said this? Like, I don't remember saying okay to you sending me these things. Okay, There's rupees in here. There's our brother Vaporos Vape. Vaporos Vape. Oh. I want to. I really want to feel better because I'm, I'm already like, I'm close to a week behind on, on reviews, for two things that I really want to review. Um. So. I can I can kind of talk about them I suppose so that people know what I think at least initially. Do it. Uh. So the first one I'll talk about is the Nada. It's Mark Fagan's RDA. The Nada. So the Nada has to be one of the ugliest fucking atomizers I've ever seen in my life. Um, it's like, a, just look at it. Like the, I really, I really like the Nada. I, I like the Nada, but everything else about that, it's like a, just an ugly barrel. And it's, it's I'm going to liken this to your favorite dive bar. Like you drive up to this place and you look at it and you're like, that things that what sort of a place am I wandering into? And you go into it, you, you throw see, your money down on the bar, and everything else, is, everything else is fucking immaculate. Like this thing, this this atomizer performs so fucking well. I'm almost angry at Mark Fagan for making it as ugly as it is. <laughs> like it is, it is, it is not a good looking atomizer. But the vape off of it, it's a little, it's a, it's a little bit turbulent. It can be a little bit leaky, but the flavor and the performance you get off this atomizer is fucking ridiculous. So <laughs> there you go, Mark Fagan. That's a that's a start. That's a start. It is uh it is that's a start on my review, but it's it's a tremendous atomizer. And I'm uh, like I said, I'm almost I'm almost angry at Mark for be, for it being as ugly as it is, the version that I got. There's other versions, there's other other versions that are way better looking than this one. But I'm almost happy now that I have the ugly version. <laughs> I was amazed when I saw the screw in inserts for different airflow. Yeah, it's it's like it's like really like you guys really thought about all this. But yeah, well, that's that's Fagan. He'll, he'll surprise you. Yeah, it's 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 a tremendously performing atomizer. Tremendous. Can you like, hold, can you hold it up to the camera so we can see how ugly it is?
That kind of looks like a twisted message. Almost. Like Addy Tooney would love this because he could flame that he could flame this out and, he, yeah. and get the nada out there. But yeah, for me who does not do flame jobs to my atomizers, it's 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 a ridiculously performing atomizer. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Ashley Brown was like me, like amazed at the flavor. It's 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 like for real. Like you vape, you vape it and you're you put everything together and you're just kind of like oh this is this gonna be good I really don't want to poop all over somebody's stuff, and it just rocks like it's it's just so, it's just a rocking fun RDA. Would you go so far as to say it's magical? Almost gizzards too. It's almost a magical RDA. So if anybody was thinking about the picking up the Nada, um, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the nod from my opinion. And say if you're looking for an atomizer that performs incredibly well, and you're you just want to do some rowdy shit with it, absolutely pick it up. So you give it it's... the nod on the nada. Oh yeah, nod on the nada. And then you can shut the bottom airflow off if you don't want it, right? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, you can screw in the the plugs. You can screw in the plugs for it, for to cut that off. But I mean the flavor the flavor by itself the flavor by itself. Just from that bottom airflow, and then I have two of the two of these open, and at 120 watts, it's nothing. So are you Megan running? Heard you, Megan heard you fresh. <clears throat> you heard me. They heard you. Nice. So are you <laughs> running it with uh, <clears throat> the bottom airflow holes open? Oh yeah. No, I mean bottom airflow RDAs get tremendous flavor. That look. Yeah, I, I I did not get the check Mark Fagan. This is all uh, pro bono. <laughs> did you get my Did you get my Facebook message I sent you, Mark Fagan? Mike Mike Vape melted all his knotters down and made a, a recurves out of them. I mean, fair enough, Mike Vapes. But yeah, no, tremendous, tremendous R tremendous RDA the nada. It's review coming soon. As soon as I feel better, but I don't want to start hacking in the middle of a hack it in the middle of it but um yeah it's it surprised the shit out of me mark Fagan. <laughs> but really really cool happy anniversary st hope you had a good show tonight hell yeah st's is full of rust the rust adds character st vapes it's like scars like scars it just gives you character but yeah um Nada, Nada gets a gets a big nod from me. I was uh, this might be the most surprising atomizer I've had in years. Wow. Cool, cool, Mark. Thanks. That for me to refill Gizzard Stew. All right. Uh, what did you guys get in new this week, Gizzard Stew? You got anything new that you wanted to chat about? Um. I got a box. Let's see what the box. Oh, he's got a box. It's dynamite. I got uh, some stuff from 3D. Stand up 3D. So I got a. Uh, it's a drip tip stand. Drip tip stand. And um, one of these. A lug. A lug. And I got a cuppy, but it's out in my car. A cup holder one. And then I got um, some of these that go together like this. Nice. And I got a purple set too. Nice. So now I need more, I need to get a nada so I can uh, fill these up with RDAs. I, I think you'll enjoy it quite a bit, Gizzard <clears throat> Stiff. <laughs> Sounds like it. Sounds like it might be up my alley. So uh, on this stuff, um, the quality of it's really good. This one's called the Groove by stand up 3D. So I, I I mean I had had uh I had had the mini dick. 
Nice. But um, this was the first time I got any of his real products, and they're exceptionally well made. I concur. I must say. So that's what I got in new. You got Stretch Armstrong still? Yeah, I don't know where he is right now, though. Mini Stretch? He's buried in the junk drawer. <laughs> Your office is a junk drawer, Gizzards, too. <laughs> Why, thank you. Thank you, Fresh. Uh, uh, no problem. No problem. <laughs> well, I'm still rocking this bad boy. Loving I don't. It. Yeah, but this is your. This is our first project, Fog, where you've had the Basium. Yeah. Any any uh, any particular thought about it, one way or the other? It's a lot more comfortable than it looks. Yeah. Uh, the cartridge system is is really awesome. It comes with a spare cartridge system. It takes standard bottles. Um, it's super easy. It's like instant on, instant. It says goodbye when it goes off or it's like instant off almost mm. yeah, that's great and and it's, uh, it's not nearly as big as you thought right no no it's super comfortable yeah i don't care if you got to roll a little bit so to squonk it because you're not squonking every hit anyway yeah because of that, that wide aperture you get plenty yeah. of liquid True. and i got a couple things in from uh vape trader I got this Ferro Mini Tank, which is it's rocking. Really nice flavor. Didn't even have to drill it out. No, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do, have to do anything to it. I was amazed. <laughs> is that a single coil banger? Yeah. It's a lot like a, like a smaller intake deck, kind of. A lot like that. I got to use Twisted Messes 2 Gizzards too. <coughs> In really nice shape. That's going to get flamed up. When's your birthday, Fresh? Uh, next month. I got some stuff ready. You don't need to send me anything, Addy Tooney. We should give it to someone in need. I mean, I got some stuff ready to flame. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, flame it, flame it. We get Light that on the show. Niji! <laughs> Where are you, Niji? I, I, yeah. I haven't seen Niji in months. Yeah. I need to send her an email. I'm going to do that. I got a uh, the Digi Flavor Siren 2, 24 mil. Nice. I love these things. These are great. Did Niji come in here? Someone's saying hi, Niji. I said hi, Niji. Don't, don't, don't trick me like that. Well, you said she was here, so <clears throat> you tricked me. I did not. I got the Wake RDA Gizzards too. The Wake? Like the Wake RDA. The Wake. It's awful pretty. Nice color. Mm -hmm. Who makes that one? Wake, uh, Wake Modco. Right. You know, the, uh, the ones that split up from uh, Dot Mod? Oh, okay, yeah. The original owners? Yeah, but the deck looks really interesting. It's got the two big, uh, two big screws. Nice deep well. Let me see if I can let me put that back up there. I'm going to pin you for a minute. Let's see if we can get a better I don't know if it'll focus or not. Hopefully, yeah. Oh, yeah, there it there goes. It goes. <clears throat> two post yeah big screws big wide openings you can put big honkers yeah. in there is that 22 or 24 i think it's yeah 24 that's going to be fun to build on it comes with uh a set of really fancy spare screws on top it looks like a nice uh nice deck yeah it's a nice conical top be nice and flavorful you can do single coil on it does it have um like goon like a cyclops air flow or whatever yeah 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 seems like it's up awful high yeah well the deck's kind of raised up too okay 
Oh, I actually said she loved it. Let's get those coils close to your mouth, more flavor. Yeah, see the duck's kind of, it's up there kind of high. It's got a really deep juice well, that's why it looks kind of high. It looks awesome. And yeah, so one of it, our Instagram friends sent me this stuff. Does it have a dot mod feel to it? Yep. Yeah. I'm still digging together, Stu, trying to dig this out. What is their what does their logo look like now? Uh, let me pin it again. Oh yeah. I don't know if I it's kinda it. it's kinda intricate. Yeah. Pretty. Almost curly. I don't mind that because there's still. <laughs> it's all good. Can't have skulls on everything, right? Absolutely. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I, I beg to differ. <laughs> get to get to engraving, Eddie Tooney. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not even sure what this other one is. I think it's like the Cosmonaut, Cosmonaut Mini. That's kind of cool. Wow, you you got a uh, the Gold Rush RDAs this week. Yeah. Well, the, the last two were given to me, and the, I bought the other four, four or five on that Vape Trader. Mm -hmm. Got a steal on those. Yeah, so I I got some I have some uh, toys to play with because there there's so many good ones out right now. It's stuff's so cheap. It's great. A lot of good ones out. I haven't bought a new RDA in months. There we go. Scent. Email to Niji Scent. Good. I Hope she's doing well. I still want to get a recurve too. That seems like that would be up my alley. Oh, they're awesome, Gizzard. Single coil swank and RDA? Yeah. Now they're like 26 bucks now. Cheap. Yep, I got to Throw caution to the wind and go buy some. Yeah. I, um, when's the uh, drop solo going to be available somewhere? Uh, pre orders are available right now. Um, I don't know what the uh, hashtag two weeks. I thought. That's another one that looks interesting too. Sure, I, I can talk about the drop solo. Do it. But my life hasn't had a chance to talk about what he's got new. Um, well, I got that Brave Craft and I got Armageddon and I ordered some more. Um, Cotton threads, and I got some of the uh, the cotton, the one lump. The one oh, lump. So, yeah, like the, the one bean lump bean. does not have uh, does not have ends on it. It is a single piece. So I'm interested in checking that out because I have some bigger coils that that the cotton threads. Just aren't quite enough. A little beefier cotton would work mm. well. I've uh, got some more Fedora concentrates. So I can fill up this bottle of nut from concentrate. Excellent. Nice. Is that? Is this sixteen ounce bottle? Yeah. Got some of that, and uh, that's about it. Been a slow week. Andrew Eaton, do they, does Direct Vapor have the, they actually physically have the drop solo or, or is it a pre-release like everybody else? Because that'd be a surprise if they got it before my Pro. Yeah, or like my Freedom folks or Vapor DNA or somebody. I can already tell you the first place that's going to have it is my Pro. 
just because of who it's coming from. That's 100% where that will come from. <laughs> you will get you will get it there first. Um, uh, drop solo, drop solo. Um, so I've been vaping on this sucker for about a week and a half now. I pretty much this is pretty much what I've been taking to work is that setup. The drop solo on the proton. Uh, drop solo is excellent. Excellent flavor, nice smooth airflow, uh, easy build. It's everything you'd expect from the drop. Uh, just it's shrunk down for single coil. So one thing you do kind of have to watch out for is the, the coil positioning. You, your coils are going to want to be a little bit high, a little bit higher, but um, to get optimal flavor off of it. But nice deep juice well, excellent for squonking, well put together, well machined. It's like I said, it's everything you'd expect from the drop, just being the solo, just being the single coil version. Um, if you like the drop, you should definitely pick up the drop solo. That's that that'd be my thought on it. Um, I mean, everybody's seen the build deck. It's it's a great looking RDA. That all stainless Addy Tuning is going to love that. I know. I can't wait to get one. <laughs> Does the airflow only come from one side? No, no it's two. both sides. So it goes between the posts. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But yeah, you want your you want your coil up towards uh, towards <clears> the top. <throat> so watch your aliens. You're probably not going to want the spitty alien. No spitty aliens. Yeah, you're probably not going to want the spitty aliens just because you're going to be one of sucking right off that coil that's right brian from the vapor chronicles i said sucking off <laughs> about your rda <laughs> but yeah i mean tremendous flavor is it the best is it the best flavor is it the best single coil flavor rda no no but just the rest of the performance will make up for it just that it's silky smooth it's silky smooth and plus there's a ton of room in there you can fit, fit a I've got a Fralian in here. Yeah, you can fit like a five millimeter in there, but ID. Did you guys see what Jay Hayes did to his? No. Did a he did a dual dual vertical sleeper build mm. on his. So uh GFY yourself, Uncle Raven. <laughs> we love you, Uncle Raven. Um but yeah, it's uh yeah, it's tremendous. Absolutely tremendous RDA. Yeah, yeah, I can't get one. I can't wait to get one play around a little bit with it. Yeah. I think I think if you're a builder, if you're a builder and you love throwing just just seeing what you can do with single coils, I think this is the RDA for you. And I mean it comes with all that ultim and comes with so much stuff. It comes with a complete ultim cap. Um Couple of different, couple of different uh, acrylic drip tips here. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, so I mean, if you need to, if you if you're a showcaser and you're show, showcasing off your builds, really, really nice. And then there's so many extras, like anything with the drop, you get everything. Got your five tens. You've got your you got everything to adjust everything, uh, spares of everything. The 510, the 510 adapter, instead of being plastic, it's an actual metal one with an O-ring. Nice. Or no O-ring. No O-ring. Don't let me lie to you, everybody. But, yeah, gold-plated squonk pin, gold-plated deck. It's absolutely fantastic. Fantastically put together package. And I, I even like that the, even the little, the, the little squonking cap. Or the little ultim cap has the has the spots for the for it to grab on the interior. It's on the interior though. Yeah. So it's it's tremendous. It's tremendous. Maybe I'll switch it over to Ultim. Switch it over to Ultim for the rest of the show. But yeah, you even have adjustable airflow on the Ultim. Yeah, let's put the rainbow cap on the. I forget which RDA I pulled this rainbow cap off of. I don't know. So, in your, recommend, 
your on your recommendation, Fresh. I got one of these for forty four bucks, I think. The Proton. Yeah. How do you like it? Oh, it's so nice. Isn't it? My God. Like it's 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 a it's it's a little bit older. It's a little bit older device at this point, and I still don't know why people aren't talking about it more. Yeah, I already beat it up. I already been using it pretty heavy. So switched it. Oh, well, that looks nice. Trust. Uh, that looks like the Bonza cap, the Bonza drip tip. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if it was exclusive to the Bonza because I think it came out because I'm I, I'm pretty sure I was looking at my Bonza. It's around here somewhere, and it's got that exact same RDA or the exact same drip tip on it. Yeah, there it is. Bonds is up there. But I still think I still I'll I'll still keep preaching the Proton. It's an affordable it's an affordable little workhorse RDA. It's light. Yeah. It's tough. It's comfortable. Right. Yeah. Forty four bucks. Shoot, everybody go get one. So I think it's what two hundred and thirty five watt device. I was. Putting up to the the Oceanus with a single battery, right? And it's like just a tiny bit better, and that's it. Yeah. It's yeah. Like it's, how they got two batteries in this thing. No, I love the rainbow. I love the rainbow look. I went for the uh, gun metals and put the gun metal uh, siren on it. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, that gunmetal one Mike Babes was waving around in his review. You son of a yeah. gun, Mike Babes. <laughs> I love you, Mike Babes, but you, sh you showed off on that one. You showed off on that one, homie. There's Rob Scanlon out there. Rob, I made you something yesterday. A couple uh -oh. of oil. No, nah, the Freyland's sitting just right in there. Socrates tell me to lower my build. No, that's good. Oh, good. But yeah, the Ultim Cap. I mean, it's this one. You, this you could definitely dial down to mouth to lung. I mean, dial both of them down to mouth to lung. But this has a more restricted airflow. All you get is those six airflows on each side, versus the. I think there's ten, ten on each side on the on the stainless cap. Yeah, I want to play around with that ultimate and, and drill. Just drill, move the AFC around and drill only one half out and see what it's like with single airflow right in front of the coil. Nice, because <laughs> you know I can't leave anything alone. Nor should you. Nor should you, Eddie. You have to tinker. Yeah. Lovely. Now back to the Apache line. <laughs> yeah, I'd be maybe it now, but it's uh, three milligram. It's too late for me for three mil. <laughs> I've never seen Apache. That song came out of my mind. So yeah. I thought it was pretty interesting about the history of what an Apache line is. I'd actually go look it up on. Uh, the definition of it. It's pretty interesting. Well, why don't you tell us? Well, let me go to uh, Wikipedia. <laughs> Perfect. Hashtag Wikipedia. Uh -huh. What is an Apache line? Is it magical? I'm getting, I'm getting a pet. Yeah, it's kind of magical. It's kind of cool. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, he pulled it up, pulled up his Instagram post about it. I just put a Wikipedia post in there too. So yeah, 
opposing dancers can also face off in a line forming the Apache line in contrast to the circle formation in break dancing. The Apache line allows multiple opposing dancers to, or crews, face each other and execute their burns. Back in the 70s, it was a fascinating display to watch. Each upper rocker must keep his or her formation while battling. Uh, one form of Apache line competition utilized rotation positioning. In other words, dancers would battle until either uh, he is tapped to step out by another rocker or the opponent has been worn down. These days, the initi initiation of a new rocker who intends on joining a particular crew, an Apache line is created, borrowing again from gang culture, social protocol. The new up rocker must battle each member of the Apache line. The new, the new rocker must dance down the center of the Apache line and battle each rocker while maintaining discipline in the use of jerks, burns, and freestyle for each or for which he is then evaluated. Now you know about them rave clubs and uh, the crazy stuff that G does. <laughs> G's a G's a break. I would I would pay to see G like breaking down some moves. That's Where was right. he trying to talk us into going to those crazy clubs in uh, Detroit? <laughs> was he? Yeah, two years ago. He didn't even talk to me about going to a crazy club, Sean Carlo. <laughs> I totally would have gone and sat in the corner and drank some ginger ale. <laughs> oh. I found that super interesting, the definition of that name. Uh, Giancarlo can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> <laughs> There's more coming. I'm muting. So what's on the agenda for Friday there, Gizzard Stu and Lifa? Any special gas? Any We're gonna have an Attitude. A who? Attitudes are Attitude. special guest. Do I gotta answer like fish questions and stuff? <laughs> Probably. We're gonna ask you all the uncomfortable stuff. <laughs> All right, I'll get some uncomfortable questions ready for you guys. Have you That's ever right. had cheek meat off of a pig's head? <laughs> yeah, I've been to a few pig roasts. <laughs> They're swagalicious. That's right, swag. Suede pumas and ginger ale. That's right. <laughs> Swaggy. Life, any new mixes? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> family life has been keeping me busy. Summer is a yeah. busy time. It, it is. It's crazy. I got, I got a 10 year old and 13 year old, and uh, they always got stuff to do, or they're always, always doing something upstairs. Um, as you know, I got the creaky floor above me. So, uh, timing out some reviews or Things like that is is hard during the summer, but August is coming up, and uh, they'll go back to school. So I'll have a little bit of time period between my end of my workday and and when they get home from school. So I'll get some more live shows going, some good stuff like that. It's just it's it's always a hard time. We had some issues come up that I had to take care of, and uh, you know. You got to build character on a 13 year old girl when her mind goes all crazy at, at 13. So yeah. it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a tough age. And if you aren't there doing the positive reinforcement and also uh, the negative reinforcement for decisions, um, they're just going to get out of control. So right now, focusing on family and catching the shows that I can catch and, uh, Get to sleep where I can, because work's been a pain too. Yeah, no vaping your face off or nothing. I know, and it it pains me every week that I'm not doing it because I I love it even when I'm having the best the worst moods. Jumping on like a vape break, talking to people in chat has always uh, boosted my attitude for the rest of the day. 
It's kind of like Gizzard's bike ride. Mm-hmm. Just get your mind off everything going on. So hopefully soon, um, next week, the kids will be at their grandmother's for the entire week up in Minnesota. And uh, <laughs> so uh, they'll be a state away. So they will be tromping all over my my dining room floor above. So I think I'm going to do two vape breaks. No vapor face off. So if anybody's ever been on the Wednesday vapor face off, watch for emails or Google Hangouts. I'll probably be sending out invitations to jump on there. But if nobody joins me, I got a playlist of smooth jazz that I can just sit back and and just vape nice and slowly by myself. That would be different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on that one, I wouldn't even pull up the chat. Because I can keep a straight face uh-huh. with uh, seeing what people are like. Really? Just him and some jazz. Okay. <laughs> nice Kenny G or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> put, a, put a little mini disco light up here and be able to have the lights hitting around. I like it. Uh. Ah, Zebra said. We'll take an invite if you send it. I'll keep that in mind. All right, Spoggers, I love you guys. Thanks for having me. Love you guys in chat. Thanks for Friday, coming, Addy Tooney. Happy, happy yeah. health day tomorrow, guys. We'll see you okay. Friday. Be there. All right. Okay. okay. See ya. All right. All right. Is on the hunt. That's right. So the late people that are late, to the feed, um, we start out talking about Omegadon's new, the Apache line, which is yeah. a delicious cream to mint vape. And Giancarlo has been kind enough to let us give a bottle away this evening. Nice. So I think we'll do that. Um, how do we want to do it? Do we want to just do a number? We can. Let's do a number. That's easy. So if you're interested in trying this, um, I'll put in a start and we'll pick a number between 1 and 50. What's so, up, Jig? 1 and 50. I know I saw Tommy Vapors out there. Tommy! You can put your numbers in. I think it was one through 50 there, Zebra. (laughs) There you go. He changed it. Nice. And I got something to add on top of that. Whoever wins. I ain't going to say what it is. All right. Tommy Vapor's putting 55. Tommy just wants to be a part of it. Like, he doesn't care if he wins. He just wants to be a part of part of the circle. Who's got the number? Fresh I, the number? I have a number. You have a number? All right. Oh, they know what it is already. Son of a gun. Buffering? Shit. I don't... Anyone else buffering? I don't know. I don't know. I'm yeah, not. It might be buffering just because my stream status is bad right now. Dropping frames. Probably. It'll sort itself out, hopefully. There you go. It was good when we started. <laughs> it always is good when we start. It's when you when you hit that hour mark. Yeah, they they start uh, curtailing your feed. Who knows? Who knows what YouTube's doing anymore these days? I think I got mine worked out. The last couple of shows that I've been running have been pretty smooth. I don't know. It could be my internet too. I probably should contact the company. Um, it was late last night. I was having some bandwidth issues. 
And it's like, I should not be having this. <laughs> and then by the t by the time I um, dinked around and I went and took some, uh, did some testing, like um, speed tests and so forth, that it straightened itself out. So it's like, uh, I was going to screenshot the crap and send it to the company. But what's up with this? That's not what I'm supposed to be getting. Uh, 360p ain't bad. A lot of people watch on their phones. <laughs> Well, hopefully it'll it'll work itself out. Now it says it's good, so it should come back around. Yeah, it should be streaming clear here. It was bad for a minute, and now it's probably good again. So, all right, so we yeah. got all the numbers out there. I think so. All right, golf tee. We'll talk to golf tee before we announce. TJ, what's up, what? brother? What's about up? how you about how you survived your weekend. Welcome, oh, welcome. I don't know. Very carefully. Um, and surprisingly enough, I felt like a fucking champ the next day. So that's the magic combination: fireball, fire, fireball, and lemon shandies. Yeah, that seemed to work out beautifully. <laughs> it was a good time. I just wish Ray could have been there. Yeah, it would have been fun. Did you happen to get a package from Giancarlo? Like this? Like that, yeah. Did that's... you break into it yet? No, as you can see, the seal is still sealed. Uh, break into it, homie. Yeah. I'm saving it for tomorrow, for the show tomorrow. <laughs> okay. I have willpower as much as I don't want to. I haven't <laughs> even cracked the seal yet to sniff it. He's like, let me have content of my child once in a while. I know. I just want to have a little bit of fun here and there by myself. <laughs> so, how have you been? Not too bad. How about yourself? Not too bad. So, you got a, you did a little partying over the weekend? Is that what I take? Yeah, I did a little barbecuing, some um, partying, and then a uh, shrimp boil on Sunday. Mm, and so this weekend, good. apparently I'm doing a brisket because my mother called me and said, hey, I picked up a whole brisket. Can you smoke it this weekend? Yes. As long as I get to eat it, yeah. <laughs> sure, bring it over. Apparently, <laughs> shit. Like a, what you do I is you deliver it without the, uh, the money muscle at the end. Can you keep that for yourself? <laughs> no, that's that's how it was. You know, you get fifty percent of the meat when you smoke it. <laughs> well, and then here, here's the kicker, though. She also decided she was going to invite my sister and some other family members to my house without my knowledge. Thanks, mom. You're a fucking champ. Why not? Nothing like some extra housekeeping they do throughout the week. I know, right? I'll put her ass to work when she gets here early on Friday. Because there's comfortable, and then there's invite people over level. But, yeah, there's... <laughs> and then, oh my god, nobody lives here. This is a show home. <laughs> Closets are full of stuff that was out on tables. Oh, that's exactly it. Too. Son of a bitch. You stuff it in there. Honey, get the rubber made containers we use for when people come. Oh my up. god. Put there's, it away. there's still a hot wheel in the living room. Oh my god. Uh, makes for a good time. And why did my camera oh that's right, because I reset my computer. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna play with my camera a little bit. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> that zoom is magical. Oops, wrong way. Beautiful. Now we're going with gas. All right. Giz, what's your magical number? The number is, drum roll please. Forty-six. Uh, I see Socrates with 44. Shit, I missed out on something. Apparently I came in too late. 
Yeah. I should have watched the show a little bit before I came in. That's the closest I see. Socrates, yeah. Socrates lives in... Which Socrates is it? Because it's U.S. only. Sorry. No, zebra. 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 Oh, we're good then. You can just send it to me. He can come down and get it for me, whatever it is. All right. I'm just saying. Just not this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Socrates, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to wait. Socrates, go, come over and eat the brisket. What was the number? Was forty six, right? Correct. Okay, so forty four was two away. Yep. Um, yep. So King Jid said forty three. Shevman said fifty. Those are both farther away from forty four. Awesome. So Socrates is the winner. The zebra. Socrates, the zebra. Socrates, the zebra. The zebra. He's always winning. Or <laughs> Socrates. So craft. Can congratulations. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna love this. It's good. It's tasty. So all you need to do is uh, <clears throat> contact Giancarlo. You can send him an email. I'll let him know that you won. Yeah, and I'm getting. We'll take care of you. Is it? It's Omageddon at gmail.com, right? I believe so, yes. And I'm the, sure Zebra has contacted Giancarlo before. And the rest of you that would like to try this, you can go to oh. Omageddon.com and use code PINKPUSSY for 10% off. Yeah. And I did say I was throwing something in with that. So, uh... Zebra, uh, send me your address again, leapababes at gmail.com. I'm throwing in a 60 mil of uh, duck pudding. Awesome. Nice. I'll pay, I'll pay that shipping out of my Patreon money. Killer. Wow. Oh, man, you're a fucking stand up guy. Nice, Ray. Even when you're sitting. Well, you know, <laughs> I haven't been putting the live shows out there that those Patreons are helping out with. So uh, I figured share some Patreon money with the giveaway. Thank you, Ray. Yeah. All right. So now what? I don't know. I don't know. Can I go to bed? They're saying it's buffering. So if we all just keep shaking our head like this, maybe they'll get pausing once in a while and I think we should uh, call it a day. We've had a good show. All right. Um, we'll go around the room. TJ? Yeah, there's... Pimp your, <clears throat> pimp your show for tomorrow night. Okay. See you guys tomorrow, 930, my channel. You know where to go. Awesome. It's going to oh. be magical. Here's one other magical thing. Don't forget, you only have till Thursday to finish off those comments in the FDA. Yes. Yep. Thursday's the cutoff. Don't don't worry. I will tell everybody again tomorrow multiple times. Life of Pimp Out Fog Life. Um, it's going to be Friday and it's going to be an hour and it'll be at least Gizzard and myself. And Probably Addy Tooney. No 20 questions this week. It was, it was funny to rewatch and it was, it was great, but I can see where it would be better without the 20 questions. <laughs> yeah, and go out to the pinkpussylist.com. Find out everybody that does take advantage of Pink Pussy as a coupon code and save yourself some money. All right. Thank you, Lifa. Thanks for coming. Fresh? You uh, go with the Apache line. It's the only vape right now that feels like it's feels okay. Feels okay to me. Oh my god, neliquid.com. You can use coupon code pink pussy. All one word. Lowercase or uppercase. Doesn't matter to Giancarlo. All he all he knows is he like he likes tight pink pussies. He doesn't care about their size. He's a stand up guy that Giancarlo. Uh yeah, that deep cuts. That psycho crawler. Psycho crawler is delicious. Absolutely delicious. Uh, Heck yeah. Go get yourself some Maddie's yogurt over on adoryliquid.com. 
All of the proceeds go to notblowingsmoke.org. You can go buy stuff from the Freaky Fresh Friends section over at vapingswag.com. All those proceeds go to notblowingsmoke.org. Uh, so we're keeping the fight going. Keep the fight going. Everybody go make your comments. Um, take your take your tussin. Take your tussin when you're not feeling good. Tussin. That's right. Everybody be beautiful to each other. Educate, advocate, be good for this community. See you tomorrow. Unless I'm asleep. TJ, if I'm asleep, my bad, dude. Yeah, it is what it is. I understand. Hopefully I'll be feeling way better. If you don't, it's okay to skip out. I mean, we managed all right. We'll manage. <coughs> Go cough that lung up. You'll be all right. <laughs> Hashtag Michael Michael Dudikoff for president. We want the American we want the American ninja <laughs> to be our president. <laughs> All right. You guys left me a couple of shout outs. I'm I'm impressed. So I never get to do this one because everybody always does it before I get to it. But I want to shout out Don at Adore E Liquid. Vaping some of that deep steeped hazy custard. Heck yeah. I made it myself, but it's awesome. And I uh, also like to shout out Swaggy Shane. Get yourself some duds over at Swaggy Shane. Also, uh, try this lemon donut. That's an awesome vape. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And I'll shout out uh, Stand Up 3D again. Get over to Stand Up 3D. Get yourself some uh, some fine Addy stands, or if you're lucky, a bag of dicks. <laughs> Get a special for those. Hell yeah. By request only. And I want to thank my panel. Thank you, Fresh. Thank you, Lifa. Thank you, TJ. And thank you, Addy Tooney. And I want to thank everybody that uh, joined us tonight for the show. And as you go through the rest of your week, try and be decent to someone, if possible. And get off your butts and vape! 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 Fucking bye. Get off your butts and vape. Get off your butts and vape. Fucking genius. Get off your butts and vape. Get off your butts and vape. Holy shit. Get off your butts and vape. Get off your butts and vape. Horse shit. Get off your butts and vape. Stuff off your butts and vape. Get off your butts and vape. Get off your butts and vape. Get off your butts and vape. That's awesome. Get off your butts and vape. Get off your butts and vape. Get off your butts and vape. Get off your butts and vape.